Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, y'all? DJ Nigga Dave, a.k.a. DJ Mellow Yellow. <laughs> I was listening to some Beatles yesterday. That song got me. Call your clan. What's happening, y'all? Michael is doing an uh, interview, and I'm watching him, and he's going to check in in any second. So, uh, like he usually does, watch this real quick. Watch this. And find out other ways that you can thrive in our society. He's talking a lot of bullshit. Don't worry about it. He's just making up some shit as he goes along. We got a great show for y'all. We got a comic. We got a singer. A singer. And we have um, Dr. Lakeisha, I think it's what's today. I'm, I, this is the ramble. We, we barely had a production meeting. <laughs> Jeff Rich. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, you are doing a fine job. Keep going now, because we're going to start. See, he's so annoying. He's so... Black people. You see why I believe in abortion? You can't never leave black people in charge and think they're going to do right. There is joy in the morning. There is healing in the morning. So much love in the morning. There is music in the morning. There is joy in the morning. There is healing in the morning. Whoa, 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 it's the Michael Kaya Morning Show, and I would pay no attention to David. He is insane. Log on to the morning show. Michael Kaya with the morning show. Get as true as a day may go. Hey, y'all, it's the Michael Kaya Morning Show. Woo! Good morning. Let me play my ding ling get this thing started. Right. Uh oh. Good morning. Hey, he got a night. I was at his house yesterday. It was fantastic. Good, good morning, folks. It's Mike Kaya. Morning show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I, I just, I just feel really great this morning. You know, uh, I'm excited. This show keeps having layer after layer after layer. It keeps expanding and getting just better and better. And this gentleman now is officially my co-host. So you know, I went looking everywhere, looking for co-hosts, brought people on. But I'm like. Sometimes you can't see the forest for the trees. And the tree was right here with me every morning anyway. You know, we play off each other so well. Plus he's smart. Plus he's funny. So I can't go worse than that. And he's also producing the show with me now. So I just want to give a little love to my main man. All bells are ringing. That's David. Uh, 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 DJ Dave, as we know him, or that nigga Dave, or whatever you want to call him. It's always entertainment and fun. He's always consistent. He's always here. I love that, brother. So a salute to you, my friend. Let me get started. Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on this beautiful day. He's generous. He's wonderful. He's kind and great. So let's show our Father we appreciate. God is good. God is good. God's good. Ba 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 do ba ba. Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on this beautiful day. Jennifer, it's wonderful. He's kind and great. So let's show our Father we appreciate. God's good. God's good. God's good. See, player, you don't understand. When you know jazz, you can stumble and still. Come on back with it. He's wonderful. He's beautiful. He's awesome. He's great. Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on a beautiful day. He's generous and wonderful. He's kind and great. So let's show our Father we appreciate. Hey, God is good. God is good. God is good. Ba 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 do ba. God is good. God is good. God is good. Good morning, everybody. It's the Michael Kaye Morning Show. Good morning, Miss Arkansas. Woo! She is beautiful and lovely and funny. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today is. Uh, June 7th, y'all, it's Monday, episode 215. That's right, we've done 215 of these. Even with the couple of days we took off, we've, inter we've introduced over 200 comedians to society that they didn't even know about. They're just hanging out doing stuff, you know. Some of them they do know about, you know, Miss Arkansas, we know you, girl. So she, she's legend. We're going to always have one. She's coming on this week. She's going to be one of our regular regulars. You know, I want to create a thing around here like uh, 
Pee Wee Herman's uh, Playhouse, where we got all type of characters that come in and go out that you can expect on a regular weekly basis. But I always need a staple. You, you got to have something that's solid that we always know we can go to. This guy, I feel like I could walk away from the show and he can still keep it going for me. So I'm beyond honored to have him on with me this morning and every morning. Get your hands together for the wonderful, the awesome, and the very silly DJ Dave. Woo! Woo! Good morning. Hey, Mike. Uh, I quit. <laughs> We can't stand him, as you know. Um, I went to his place. That's his studio. I was in his studio yesterday. In fact, yesterday I got a chance to see, we've been talking about it for the longest, that wonderful pool, okay, that he's got that pool over there, y'all. And I went and actually witnessed it. He'd be doing something he told me he'd be doing when I ain't looking because I'd be looking over the side, trying to put something on, and he'll throw a doggone picture up on me. And I don't even know the pictures. I don't see that pool. I, I, I had a pool picture that I was trying to show them, look, yesterday, the oh, three of us were there. You see John John and David, and you see that pool in the backyard? That's his backyard. That's his backyard. See, I still that's live John in the John from the group Troop. And it's yeah, written and all he, over your face. That's the, that's the written all over your face picture right there. It's written all over your face. I'm trying to see where I put your pool, though. I had your pool in here. I, I pulled up a picture of it. Oh, yeah? Okay, well, I'm not. I, you know what? I always have backup. That's why I say, I'm. I'm not. Be, I'm not be fast on my feet. Watch this. I go right in here. Boopity boopity boop. Bam. Uh, pow. Let me see right what you got. Go on, wait. I'm gonna go to single picture. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. All right. That's the pool in his backyard. I'm trying to see if y'all can see that view that he has from his backyard. His mama was like, "I just love that view," and his mama is something. Woo! You know, we love mamas around here. And, you know, for me to see anybody's mama, any adult who hangs with their mama in the first place, they own my heart right there. Yes, sir. His mother is, what is she, 89? 87. 87. 87. She was dancing, and she was dancing and put a glass on. Do I have that tape? She put a glass on her foot, on her head, and started dancing. With uh, and I tried I to warn her. She's being all. I, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do. This. I said you're live right now on Instagram. Michael just showed you to the world. <laughs> this is mama. His mama danced with the glass on his head. <laughs> He's trying to walk away. You can't walk away. That mama right there. <laughs> That's we t we talking about life on this show. I don't know what y'all do on the other shows, but yeah. around here we just go ahead and live, man. We're going to have a good time, David. We, thank we you. We are on a living spree. That's what we on. Yes. Yesterday was so good. Thank yes, you for inviting me. I appreciate that. That was that was great, you know? You see what, what you got? These are my scratchers for the day. Just I'm going to scratch them during the show. And if for some reason <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> Does anyone ever hit really big money with that? I mean, you know, they have their TV shows, but, you know, if. If I can spend five dollars on on a on a bag of weed, then I can put five dollars on a scratcher, and I, I, I or right. you could just hand me the five dollars, and it would be going just the same as if you bought one of the tickets, you know. Um, so what somebody said, you can't to win if you don't play. So I, I mean, I've won a thousand dollars. I've won five hundred. You know, it's like you won a thousand dollars on a scratcher. Mm -hmm. I didn't know they could win that much on a scratcher. But I have a friend named Brian. He is the luckiest. I just want to touch him because he he, he just wins. It might, but but he plays. He plays with house money and you know a dollar for a lottery ticket. On you know I, I, I'll, I'll I'll take that. I'll take that bet. Hey, look, we got a comedian coming on because we want to start on time with him. But look, before we go to the comedian, I want your view on what's going on with all this violence. People I, I are know fighting what? for no reason at all on the plane. This dude hit this woman. And not two of her teeth out. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's everywhere. People are breaking out. What is what is that about? I t I, you know what? I called it because people have been, you know, there wasn't any crime. You know, everybody was clamped up in their houses, and now it's this mm -hmm. is just like, you know, all these shootings on the freeway. We already we already had that. You know, we already had that in America, but now people haven't had a chance to get that stuff off their chest, and it's just exploding. We had like eight. Um, uh, mass shootings in like four days. So people just, they stir crazy. 
Just they start, they start <laughs> crazy for violence. They just gotta, you know, the world is crazy right now, which is why we have this show. You know, people are stressed out about the plan, the pandemic. I call it. it people are stressed out about that. People are stressed out because they're out of work. Uh, uh, it, the racism thing is out of this world. Police are killing people. Uh, alarming numbers are killing black people. Like yeah. it's like it's a sport. It's so a we sport. got a lot to be stressed out and tense about. That's why we want y'all to come here every morning. And just hang with us and at least get your laugh on, get your positivity in bright and early. So I just want to touch on that. But why don't we laugh a little bit? Because laughter, I think, is healing. You know? Push one of them buttons for the comedy, man. I know you got like a little intro. You want me to bring it on? I got it set this time, though. I know exactly where it is. This time. Look at this. It's Michael Kaya's comedy platform, and today we have a young man. It's gonna be my first time seeing him. I'm very excited about. It. I met his daddy this week when I was in Dallas, and then I got on the phone, talked to him. A great young man. Get your hands together. I don't know where he's from, but maybe he'll tell us. Get your hands together for Mr. Daddy Sellers. Woo! Yeah, boy. What up? What up? What up? What up? Good what morning, up? Good morning, everybody. Happy to see y'all. Happy to, to be here. Thank you. What's up? Tell us what's going on. Nothing but man. All right. So the, look, the, the CDC, I feel like the CDC can get away with anything and we're going to bleed them for at least three months. You know, like, <laughs> I want to hack the CDC Twitter and I want to hack the CDC Twitter, Twitter and say, if you get ahead every single day, you'll be fully vaccinated from coronavirus <laughs> and all cancer. <laughs> this being my girl like, I don't even know want this head, but you know what Dr. Fauci said? <laughs> Health is wealth. Health is wealth. Health is wealth. <laughs> no, like, like y'all like were saying before, you know, a lot of violence, a lot of violence with the police too. And I feel like we need, uh, we need, to improve police relations, especially with black men. So I've been thinking, you know, during the pandemic, we need police officers that love black men. You know, we, we need police officers that that care about black men. We need police officers that are almost obsessed with the well-being of black men. We need fat white girls to be the police. <laughs> dogs, dogs love brothers, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> on the news, there's 1,000 NBA shooting guards at the precinct for no reason. Turn it into <laughs> white, white folks, man, y'all got to get better at making gang names. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck's an Antifa? <laughs> Antifa sounds like a ghetto black auntie name. <laughs> Oh, Auntie Antifa's here. Like, <laughs> oh, bringing an ex-convicts to Thanksgiving. Let me hide, let me hide my iPhones. <laughs> What's a proud boy? <laughs> proud boy it sounds like a very lucrative gay bar in West Hollywood. Right. <laughs> For 30 years, we've been a staple of our community. <laughs> No, I've been talking a lot about white folks, but black folks, we're by far the most judgmental. You know, like I know that one reason I know that because black people over the age of 50 can't say the word LGBTQ on the first try. <laughs> <laughs> they can't do it. You're like, Grandma, whatever happened to, to Evan? He used to play the drums at the church. <laughs> well, well, you know, Evan is a uh... grandma, grandma, what? <laughs> you, you know, Evan is a. Uh, like, did, did he die? <laughs> you know, Evan won them LG TVs. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, Brother, thank you. You're good. Danny Sellers. 
I need oh. that laugh. Thank you, Danny. I need that. Hilarious. Yeah. Man, where you from? From Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, I started comedy in Chicago and just moved to LA four days ago. What? Yeah. Wow, man. And you came here to do your thing, to come in and break into this industry? 100%. Yeah, 100%. Wow, man, if there's anything I can do to help you out, man, let me know. I know Miss Arkansas is watching you. She's a comedian. Hey, hey Mike. Hey, Mike. Franklin Ajay. Mmm. Similar uh, delivery. This guy, and this guy reminded me, I just got goosebumps when he was, his delivery, mm -hmm. he, he, he just walks into a really, really funny joke. Right. Franklin Ajay. Wow. That's the, yes, similar in the delivery style. Absolutely, you know Franklin Jai, that that comedian. Not by name, but probably by voice. And check him out sometime. Yeah. And your your set was a look. Look how people was loving you. Wait a minute, let me just show you some of these. That's dope. Yeah, man, you did really good. I didn't tell you that it was a family show, so you got the F bomb in. Oh. But that was okay because you didn't go crazy with it, you know? Hey, people just people. This show, we still on the internet, you know? So when we go to network and you can't cuss at all, I'll make sure the big red banner go across it. But that your set was absolutely yeah, perfect. It was absolutely thank you. perfect. I appreciate it. I, I thank you, brother. Woo, woo, woo. Well, what else are you doing? How, how can people find you and what are you doing? Yeah, follow me on Instagram at follow sellers. Uh, I just moved to the city, so I'm starting all over again. You know, we're getting to the clubs and then, uh, and uh, yeah, anything I got going on, follow me on Instagram and I'll post it. Podcast. You follow you as what on Instagram? Follow sellers, F O L L O W S E L L E R S. I love follow that. Sellers. Follow sellers, okay, on, on everything. Yep, Instagram, Instagram. Twitter. Thank you, man. Please tell your dad that you came on here and killed because you did. And I gave him my card, asked him to call me. You are amazing. Here on the show, man, I'd like you to end by saying, woo, woo, woo. That's our, that's our call sign. Woo, woo, woo. My man, Danny Sellers, y'all. He was amazing. All the bells are ringing. It was fantastic. Thank you, brother, for coming and doing the Michael Kaye Morning Show. We'll have you back again. Thank you. Thank that was so good. Dave, Dude, I was rolling, dude. Woo. I was sitting in the chair over here, man. I was rolling. That was amazing. Um, how many comics total? Well, we've had over 200. We've done 215 shows. We've only used maybe six or seven twice. One we use that, three that, times. That, that's definitely, definitely in the top five performances. Yeah, that was a brilliant. That was so... I, and I didn't see, you know, like you said, the Franklin Ajay style. Well, he's yeah. just talking to you. He's just hitting you with the facts. And so you don't see that hard curveball coming at yeah. you. The inside like slider. The inside slider. I'll tell you, man. I, I was sitting, I was like, who does he remind? And, then, and it just hit me. I was like, uh, Danny, you, you two, you some Franklin Ajay, and you are off to a fabulous yeah. Los Angeles. You're gonna, do, you're gonna do good. You're gonna do very good. I'm putting a star by your name, young man. Yes, sir. Very excellent. Hey, we have another young man who's new to the show. Um, uh, you know, we we've been trying to you know figure out massage the right type of sports guy. So we're always looking to have somebody come in and talk about sports right now. I know LA got trunks, they got the Lakers just got hey, 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 watch, hey, hey, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. You I know you don't want to say nothing because they, they didn't do as well as we'd like to. I'm it, still it, a it fan. Was, it, was, it was too fast to start over after the champion. Eh? Two weeks later, they was back in the league. So it, yeah, they, they had a chance there. to rest. <laughs> they didn't have a chance to regroup. That's that's what it was. You act like you in Dallas. So, you know, Dallas, Dallas fans are the greatest fans in the world. They ain't never got to win a game ever, ever in Dallas. And they still act like they the one every day, you know. So we need to still hold on to our Lakers. Let's find out what's going on in sports. We have a young man uh, named Rashad Hicks, the second who's coming in. And we like to call this segment Sporty Rashad. Get your hands together for Sporty Rashad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good morning. Good morning. How are you playing? This is Sporty Rashad, and I'll be bringing you three sports facts on this amazing Monday morning. Let's start off with the Lakers. You already mentioned it. They only had about two weeks from the postseason last year to start this current season, but that's no excuse. LeBron James, 
He looked like he may not be superhuman anymore. The bench did not come through. Everyone wanted to brag about how deep their bench was. They had a combined total of 32 points in the get closeout game versus the Suns. That's just not enough. Moving on, we have news that Julio Jones, he may be going to the Tennessee Titans. People say they may become an instant championship contender, but I'm not sure. Why would the Atlanta Falcons give up your most consistent superstar? He's a for sure Hall of Famer. Is there something wrong with him that they wanted to trade him away now before things got too deep in the season? Who knows? But if he is healthy and he can produce, it could be great for the Tennessee Titans. I see them going past the AFC Championship, and I don't quite see a championship, but it still could be good. And going forward, they may be able to get a piece or two and come out on top in the big game. Lastly, we have Floyd versus Logan Paul. Very underwhelming fight. We see Floyd. He's 44 years old. He's lost a step or two speed-wise, but his mind was still sharp. He boxed his way to a win even though they didn't say who won technically uh logan paul wanted to tie him up and hug him the entire fight it definitely wasn't the worth the 50 dollars that they charged for the pay-per-view but over and all floyd he's still undefeated that's all we can hope for so so you watched the fight huh did you actually yes, watch sir. it yes sir so was it a good Every fight minute. or what, what was it good it was not good at all to me. He looked, very <laughs> slow. he looked like he'd been eating Twinkies all quarantine. It just wasn't good to me. Logan Paul came out very amped up, but it was a very underwhelming fight. Three minutes. They probably fought for about two seconds. And then they hung the rest it. of the match. I love it. Well, I want to say welcome to the show. You did really good, especially for this your first day up. That's very excellent. Um Tell people how we can find you. You can follow me on Instagram, Rashad.Hicks, R-H-A-S-H-A-D dot Hicks, H-I-C-K-S. I have my own sports business. I train athletes. You can follow me on Instagram and see all my work. Thanks for having me, Mike. And so you you have a you want to be a sport, you want you want to be a sports agent, right? Yes, sir. I work with so athletes yeah. from my hometown. Hopefully it takes off. Well, we're going to all push for you, man, and help you get there. You have a birthday coming up? Yes, sir. I'll be 21 on Thursday. 21 on Thursday. Woo! Brother, welcome. I'm glad to have this young energy on the sports for us. Yeah. Thank you, brother. You did a fantastic job. Ladies and gentlemen, that's you. give me one more. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. There you go. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Sporty Rashad, our new sports guy. You're going to be seeing him here every Monday. Thank you, man. Have a super califragilistic expialidocious kind of day. God bless you. You too. Give your father God my bless. best. Thank okay. you. That was good. That was good for his first time, huh? Where you at, David? Wasn't that good? You went Absolutely. to smoke one? No. Did you slide off and went to smoke one real quick in between? <laughs> I had an uh, edible about 4 o'clock in the morning. So. <laughs> I love it when you came on one day and you said, oh, that wore off too fast. <laughs> <laughs> so Rosa May said, uh, do we feel old or uh, uh, because don't nobody remember uh, Frank and the Giant? <laughs> I don't. I don't no. feel old no matter what, and I am old. I'm old without feeling old. Hey, an old man once told me, live long enough, nigga, you'll die. <laughs> <laughs> give it time. Just give it time. Uh, I'm lucky. <laughs> so how, how does the look, guy look do? Look who's got stage. Do you, do you see who's lining up here? Who? Bonnie, <laughs> Cynthia, Miss Arkansas, happy birthday no, to I'm you. I'm talking about backstage. Oh, Go yeah, backstage. I see who's backstage. Oh, I see my okay. man Ray. But I was trying to see what, what responses was to our new sports guy. Uh, right here. Love this segment. Uh, Crane Collective. Bonnie says she's not old. She's too young. That's right, Bonnie. That's well, a, Bonnie, it's, it's, it's how you driving. feel, baby. It's how you feel. You know, I'll be on stage running. I'll be running on my stage. And people are like, why? what's your old butt doing running? Because you can't convince me I'm old. I'm sorry. You you can't do it. That's why I cut that beard off. I started looking like a granddad. <laughs> Announcement time. Uh, I just got a new job, y'all. 
So yeah. I won't I give you details. It. I, I won't give you details till Wednesday. But I just got hired for a new series, uh, and I, my part is called Grandpa or Old Dude. <laughs> I said, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, matter of fact, I wanted to apologize. Hey, Tori, I wanted to apologize. I said, oh, doggone it. I, I, I just cut my beard off, you know? And they said, oh, it doesn't matter, Mr. Callier. And I talked to one of the producers. I was like, man, thank you for calling and putting your, putting your word in for me. He said, Mr. Callier, you had it before I called. They gave it to you because you, you. I'm like, woo, woo, woo. So we'll see what happens. By Wednesday, I'll have the offer in writing. And so then I'll give you details as exactly what the show is. Do, 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 but we doing I, 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 I saw you. Uh, I saw you sneak away with your phone. He, he kind of crept away and went over there in the corner. And I was like, oh, he's using his white voice. This uh, Something's going on. Something and how beautiful was that, that I'm in my friend's backyard at the pool on a sunny day when I get a call to come and do a TV show in Hollywood. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, God oh. is great no matter what y'all think. Um, I know he's fantastic. So we have um, my friend is back. I love this guy. And he is going to be one of the family members we're talking about. In fact, I've invited him to join me uh, tomorrow as well uh, when I read to the children. Second announcement for the day. The reading is moved. From now on, uh, I'll be reading to the children on Tuesday because I travel on too many Thursdays. And too many Thursdays, I'm having to cancel reading to the kids it ain't fair so from now on reading with mr mike is every tuesday 11 a.m on instagram tell you, I tell all your kids to get ready because we got stories i got puppets and this young man we're about to bring on right now uh mr don williams and his friend is gonna also join me get your hands together he's back for the second time mr don wilson Hey man, congratulations on your new cereal. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> no, it's, it's serious. Oh, serious. Oh, oh, how you doing, man? Man, I'm doing fantastic. Y'all look great. How y'all doing? I'm pretty good. Hey, man, this, Did y'all? I've been on your show one time. Now he's got to give some shade. <laughs> he, he wearing shade. He went Hollywood on us. He done went Hollywood in one day. Yeah, just one day, but on one time. So, I, did y'all watch, watch sports? Did you see the fight last night? I saw the fight, man. I saw the fight. Did you think it was good? Well, you know, the billionaires watching, so it was a hell of a fight, man. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, and he did a good job, too. He did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I thought that, um, you know, I, I believe it's entertainment and he was just having fun, personally. He's just having fun and getting paid. Yeah, getting paid to have fun. Yeah, because well, no, I didn't think it was any real battle, you know? I thought those Not guys were dancing more than fighting. Not at all. Hey, you know, as far as looking for another contender, though, That's I right. Yeah. <laughs> Cause his well, breath, his his breath been fighting me for about forty years. <laughs> is his breath winning? Man, his breath is a a killer. <laughs> so it's a knockout. Yeah, it's a knockout, man. As a matter of fact, you know he need to sign up. You know, just sign up for the destructive breath wherever he goes into the city. He need to check in. Come on, man, just kill him. Roscoe. Hey, Roscoe, how you doing, man? Hey, family, how y'all doing? Yo. Oh, how to talk without his lips moving, but it ain't working. Hey, man, you know, all you got to do, you got to be in his lineage, you know, because all his mm. family got heavy lips. Oh, <laughs> Yo, man, you got to stop. That's funny, that. That's really funny. Yeah, how you been, Roscoe? How you been, Great. man? You guys going to join us tomorrow? Man, look, uh, you know I'm already there, Roscoe, man. You know, you could do. Woo-hoo! Roscoe. You could do. Well, hey, I man, I... Go ahead. 
I can't keep him off the show because he just come in on his own. I run stuff. Okay, so so you're going to join us tomorrow as well, huh, on the Tuesday show? Hey, I, I want to know, can I say words like, uh, damn, up here until the kids yeah, come? You can, you can say damn. God damn. <laughs> I didn't mean to go that far, but okay. man, I've been holding that in since the last show. <laughs> I didn't want to say damn and shit. Look at that shit. <laughs> Stop, man. Okay, it's not funny. Show ain't funny. No, this family show. We can't do no cussing on this show, but you got them out this show. After this show, we can't do no cussing now. But since the first comedian got a cuss in, then we got a little balance. I know folks in the back going, oh, my Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Lord, they say, forgive me, Lord. I know what I'm going to do. They say you sound a little bit, Wilson, you sound a little bit like uh, Richard Pryor. What? That's what they just said. Somebody just said he sound a little bit like Richard Pryor. With that, right there. There you go. Well, Wilson you know, sounds like Richard Pryor. I'm touched. I'm touched. I'm flattered. Lord God, I thank you for this day. <laughs> we love the greatest of all time. We love the greatest of all time. He's the greatest, man. I mean, you meant me. Yeah, and I called Mr. Collier, man. This guy don't know what to say. The glasses. The glasses cause him not to see what to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank you. Now, do you have more... Do you have more people in your uh, entourage, or is it just you and Wilson? Do you have other so, folks who also join you? You talking about at this moment? Yeah. No, it's just you and I. No, I mean when when you're doing your shows, do is it just you and Wilson, or do you have other members oh, of the camp? Oh yes, I right now I have a feature and and myself at the time. Yes, I'm I'm headlining and we, we're trying to get you out of here, man. We're trying to get you out of here, man. Man, I'll come, man. I can use some work. I mean, after I get to do my little TV role. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, 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 Man, thank y'all for coming on. I appreciate y'all. Tell me where we can find you. Well, you can, you can find him in the dinner room. <laughs> come on. But we just, we doing a pandemic tour. He started in the bathroom and then walk in the dining room. <laughs> What's the last on? Okay, That's all right, right, all right, all right. But you can find us on um William I. Graham. William mm -hmm. I. Graham. This guy here looks like Stevie Wonder from Amazon. Pick it off, man. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. Gosh, man. Okay, uh, this guy is killing me. But William I. Graham. William I. Graham on, on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And the website is info at William and Wilson Show dot com. William and Wilson Show, man. Yeah. How long have you guys been together? You, Don, you and Wilson. How long y'all been together? Actually, me and this character has been like 25 years. Actually, me and this character. Wow. He hasn't so, aged at all. He hasn't aged at all. He has. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but you know, like, you know, because I started when I was 10, really, honestly. And my first figure um, was, a, was a beginner's figure, Lester. And then when my mother, because I used to practice three to seven hours a day, no joke, in the mirror every day. Wow. Did you, he just got worse and worse and worse and worse, man. <laughs> Um, did you retire? Did you retire, Lester? Is he still by nearby, or is he gone? Uh, well, he's too weak. I got rid of Lester because all you know, Roscoe. He's trying to start some stuff with Roscoe. I said, "You gotta go." That's right. <laughs> You're done. I love how you but, do. No, it. but I, I, I had him for about three years, and then when I turned um, about thirteen or fourteen, I got another character named Michael. That's the one I was on the Apollo with. But then I outgrew, yes, sir, three weeks in a row. The original one, the original. And then I outgrew Michael, so then I bought this one myself. You ain't find me, man. You, you found me at the, at the home, the foster care. <laughs> I don't know what to say. His eyes, okay. Brother, 
I love you. I'm going to see you tomorrow with us on the morning show. Uh, I'll leave us with a woo, woo, woo. Would you woo, woo, woo? Just on, go on. Okay. Would you yeah. woo, woo, woo? Thank you, Don and Will. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, Thank you, man. 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 I'm glad to be here again this morning, man. I hope you all woke up with an attitude of gratitude, man. Keeping light, love, peace, and power right there, you know, in your heart, you know. Um, I love God so much, and I'm so grateful. Just grateful to wake up healthy, grateful to wake up happy and joyful. You know what I'm saying? That's good stuff. Uh, I'm glad to have my new job. I'm glad to have this job. And I'm looking forward to getting back to reading to the kids. I didn't miss that. You know, several day, several uh, weeks we've missed that. So uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, 11 o'clock, I will be there. Oh, this I almost forgot to tell y'all. Uh, let me show you who is coming on as the, um, the guest for a superstar interview this weekend. I mean, this. Uh, this is a prayer. <laughs> you know, yes, it's, it's on its way. This we call this pre-prayer. How do you get that button? Um, this this is the pre-prayer. Wait a minute, I've got to put his name in now to get him on here. He, uh, I'm gonna let y'all see it first, and it's gonna be a, a something to this. So be close to your button. Be close to your button. Um, there, there. Okay, the first person put that name up, $25. That's our guest tomorrow, I mean Wednesday, on the Superstar interview. Oh, where's my phone? Kelly said, where's her phone? Oh, type it in. There he is. Let me see if anybody got it. I don't see any names moving, so I don't think anybody got it. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Nobody got it. Uh-oh, -uh, too late. Somebody did. Uh, Dang. You know what? Probably the fastest on the draw ever is this doggone Paris vet. He's quick. He's quick on the keys. He's quick, quick on the keys. Uh, yes, I guess tomorrow is going to be Leon. I mean, Wednesday is going to be Leon, the actor from the Five Heartbeats and about a hundred yeah, other films. But you know who else, though? It's this cold, cold sister named Shalia. Woo! Where's Moje? Where's Moje? Yes, yes, David. All of this is part of the prayer. <sighs> okay. And Lord, can we get Denzel Washington on our show, please, dear Lord, if you would grace us. We're we putting that in the prayer. So my, uh, I don't see it here, Moje. To also, there's this awesome vocalist named Shalia. Shalia. So both of them are going to be on the Wednesday show, and she is singing a song, so it's going to be off the chain. That's Wednesday Superstar Interview. I'm sorry. Let's get to the prayer. Good morning, family, and thank you for being here with us because we consider this, at least I consider it more than just a show and certainly more than a common show. I consider it a fellowship, man, where we can all come and hang out and do our thing, woo, 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 but also keeping God right in the center of it. We start with a holy breath. Hold it. One positive thought. Now exhale slowly from your mouth. Good morning, God. Thank you for waking us up again this morning, Father God. You didn't have to do that for us. I take that very personal. Father God, as I open my heart, my soul, my mind, my spirit, I invite you to come on in and fill me with your love, your peace, your power, your joy, your wisdom, your intellect. Guide us, Father God towards joy, more peace, more power, greater communication. Father God, touch our hearts today in a magical way. Bless us today in a way that we don't even see coming. Yes, surprise us with some light, love, and joy, and power. Oh, Father God, I pray that you bless us today and bless us indeed. I pray that you enlarge our territories greatly. I pray that your hand will be with us and guide us past evil, and we will cause no pain. In fact, we pray that you guide us towards more light, more joy, more peace, more power. Father God, thank you for our families. Thank you for Mama. I got a chance to meet 
David's mother yesterday. And when I tell you, she was continuous light and joy the whole afternoon. She was just up and dancing and having a little sip and talking stuff. She brought wine, God, in a box. A bo I had heard about a box of wine. I'd never seen it. She had a box of wine, Lord. It was really amazing to be there with her. And I pray, Father God, that all of us, if we can, reach out and call our mama today. Call your mama and just say, I love you. I love you, Mary Lena Smith. I love you, Mary Lena Smith. You can do it through prayer. You don't even have to pick up a phone, but do it. Do it today and see if you don't feel better. Father God, thank you for our family. Thank you for our health. Thank you for another wonderful, beautiful, glorious day to be able to just do our thing. Every day on this planet gives us another chance. Special blessings go out to anyone who's ailing or illing. I love me some Rodney Perry. Um, we're bringing an apostle on the show. Um, she's amazing, amazing, amazing apostle. And her mother had a stroke. And whenever one of my friends have a stroke like Sinbad did, I call Rodney Perry. Rodney Perry had a stroke. He beat that stroke. He, at one time, half his body wasn't working. He shook it off. He came back. Now he's doing comedy all over the place. So I have made him my stroke whisperer. And whenever someone said they had a stroke, I said, man, I please have Rodney call. And I call Rodney. And when I call Rodney, I, I apologize because it's my third or fourth time. I said, Rodney, I'm sorry I got to ask you for this again because I beg so much my hand looked like a cup. And I said, Rodney, could you do this? He said, Michael, you can ask me a hundred times more, brother. And that to me is God in action. That's grace in action. This brother will take his time to heal somebody else. And the apostle wrote me that evening and said, Rodney, talk to my mom. So, Father God, thank you for Rodney Perry. Thank you for the apostle's mother. Thank you for just healing everybody. David Ford's mom, still healing. Sinbad, still healing. Put blessings on all of them. And somebody out there needs a special blessing today. We pray that you lay it on them, Father God. And with all that said, all we can say now is thank you. Thank you for everything, God. I'm talking about the house, the home, the cat, the dog, the food, the health, the light the vision, to be able to talk and be together, continue to be the wind beneath our wing, and make sure that this day is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Nothing can stop it from being that but us. And let us laugh, 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 because we know if we can laugh through a thing, we can get through a thing. So, Father God, we will laugh our way to joy and pray ourselves to heaven. Thank you, Father God, for your light and your joy, your love and your peace. And so we say, amen. Amen, amen, amen. I mean, I say, boom, shakalaka. And in the famous words of all of those who call ourselves the Kalia clan, woo, woo, woo. Ha <laughs> ha. Good prayer, good prayer. Woo. That was Man, nice. They come in cussing the day, though, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'd like to thank you for that community. raise you gave me, Michael, yesterday. This is the this is the raise Michael gave me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, that's that $2 bill. He gave me a oh, raise, y'all. Every now and then, folks, we're going to uh, have people drop in. So did you bring that sound, the doorbell? Yes. Uh, God, where is it? Uh, Every now and then, folks. So I'm just telling you, look forward to this. If you uh, if you hear this happen, you know what's going on. We have a guy about to drop in right now uh, who has his own shoe store. In the hood. Did he get to the door yet? No. Did you play it? Can't nobody even hear that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next time it'll be better. Let me turn it up. I love how we experiment. So we trying to get our doorbell fixed. Our doorbell's not working right now. But we have guests to drop in. We have a doorbell for the guests, you know, but <sighs> doorbell didn't work. Malfunction. Wait a minute, is that the bell? <laughs> David, let me get you out of here. This young man, uh, Fox Hills Mall. David, ain't it still Fox Hills Mall? They changed the name to. Didn't somebody come in and buy it? Did they? They bought it and. Oh, they brought it back to Fox Hill because I mean I spent twenty years going to Fox Hill Mall, and that yeah, sounds yeah. black. That yeah. sounds like something black people would go to. Fox yeah. Hill, not no. It is a black mall. What's they calling it now? Like the Westheimer or some step, some mess. Anyway, I hope we're back to Fox Hill. This young man has two shoe stores, uh, and he does something very special in giving back to the people. We want to bring him on right now with a lot of love and peace. His name is Ob Obina, or, and he's going to correct me. Obina, 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 Obina. I know the O is hard because I wasn't going to say Ob Obina. 
Obina Aquara. Aquara. I, I think I got the Aquara right. Anyway, I, actually, Aquara sounds like something you get on your foot. Don't it sound like I was walking and I had this Aquara on my ankle and it hurt. I had to put some salve. Y'all ain't old enough to remember salve. Anyway, get your hands together for Obina Aquara right here with his shoe store, which is called Hidden Souls. Woo, woo, woo! Where's he at? Where's he at? Boom! Hey! <laughs> Welcome, brother. Pronounce your name. Oh, you did a great job, Obino Aquara. Obino was right. Like, Obino was right. Oh. If, you're, if you're like my mom, you'd be like, Obina Aquara. Hold on one second. Where's he going? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I saw my dog making that face. Uh -oh. Yeah. You know, that Obina, my dog uh, had seizures. So I has had a couple, and then it started doing this. All right. I, and his mouth will start foaming. And if I don't get to him in time, he'll have a seizure. But if I get to him in time, it wasn't even him doing that. That was the other dog. That was Diamond. Uh, so that means she was just chewing good. So if she, if I get to him in time, I put a little rubbing alcohol on his nose, and it'll stop the seizure. I, so had, I, I had my, uh, huh? my other dog. I had a dog that used to have seizures all the time. Wow. He passed away. Yeah. Oh. And I, got my, I got three dogs about my wife. Like he died like a week before Mother's Day, so I bought her a new dog. So they all out here protecting her right now. What you get? Her? Her. What you get? What can you? Oh, here, come here, boy. Let me see. Come on. All right, this is Rocky. This is a Maltese. This is oh Matt yeah, Hansel. oh my goodness. That hustle. And this is Wait, Bill right here. They're ridiculous. Look at the other. Let's show all three of them. Look at these other there ones. There you go. <laughs> here, hustle. Come here. He trying to get up here Let now. Next to me. Come here, hustle. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at him sitting on the swing. Look at all that personality. Yeah, they, yeah, they, 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 they're great dogs. The English bulldog. So this is hustle. He, he's, he's friendly. He'll go home with you if you come over. He has He'll no family, no family loyalties at all. This is this is my wife, main man right here. This is Rocky. And he's he's super loyal to her. And then this is I guess this is my dog Bear. He loves me. But here's a Christmas gift. Like I've been with my wife for I've been I think 18 years, so I've run out of yeah. ideas on what type of gift to buy her. So it's like Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, birthday, Christmas. So you multiply all that by 18, you probably have like 52 gifts. So I end up just buying dogs because it's, it's always a win. You can't go wrong with the dog. You can't go wrong with the dog. That's the You gotta, you gotta keep right her happy. Here. You gotta keep her happy. So tell, tell me about this store, Hidden Souls. You know, funny, I, I heard you. So it's, it's pretty much, it's still uh, Westfield. I, they call it the Westfield at Culver City. Westfield Mall. But, but I, I call it the Fox Hills Mall. So our Instagram page is Hidden Soul Fox Hills. So at Hidden Soul Fox Hills. And I, I you know, it's a black mall. This, we've been calling it Fox Hills forever. So yeah. it's always going to be Fox Hills for us. So tell me about your shoe store. What's, what's, what makes so it different pretty, from other shoe stores? Uh, pretty much. I mean, I know I'm not the first black owned shoe store, but we're, we're like when I was a kid, I never had like Jordans and like all the exclusive sneakers. Like my parents, I never wanted for anything, but I knew like that wasn't like we weren't, we weren't getting $200 shoes. So what we did was we, we created, we created a, a, a shoe store and we wanted to basically give a lot of kids and just people in general that don't have the opportunity or don't have the funds to buy the exclusive shoe that may cost a lot of money. So we created something where we, we price the shoes pretty fairly and I give away a lot of free shoes. So if your report how, how, card how is you, good. How do you do that? How do you give away? So pretty much, I, so, I, so it's funny because people don't realize when I give away a shoe, say I give away a shoe that costs about $5.50, I'm selling it at five fifty. I bought the shoe for $4.50. But I'm giving it away just because you know I got. I'm mine. sorry. Slow down. You, you're going too fast. You mean five hundred and fifty dollars? Right. So 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 I'm in the what resale market. What made out of diamonds and gold? What kind of damn shoes are you selling? <laughs> now, so these are basically just all exclusive shoes. So just Jordan, Yeezys, uh, Adidas. So pretty much what what they do is they'll make they'll make a thousand pair of a certain shoe, and then you got a million people that want that shoe. So then oh, wow. you have the resellers, they'll buy the shoe and they'll come to somebody like me, a consignment store, and they'll sell me the shoe. But they sell it to hey, me hey, at a market oh, price. So I, I got a question for you. Let me show yeah, you like those are. right there. Yeah, there you go. That's what we're selling. How much are these worth? Well, what kind are they? Let me take them to the box. 
Let me see here. He ain't got the shoe. He just got the box. <laughs> he got the he box got the and the shoe. <laughs> See, like those right there. Uh, see, you got a you got a, a sticker on there. So that's basically that's to authenticate the shoe. Like, okay, it's real. So a lot of those type of shoes, they they uh, people produce replicas. So they you gotta watch out for fakes. Yeah. But something like that, like so. For example, say you come to my store and you bring me that shoe, right? And you bought it for two twenty, two forty, and you want three fifty for it. And you look at the market. And the market, you there's certain web pages you go to, so you can see what shoes are worth. So let's say the shoes worth 400 now, so you would want 350, and that's cool for me because I'm like, okay, it gives me room. I could charge 400, and I'll make 50 dollar profit. Or if I'm just at the mall and I'm just like, okay, I woke up today, I felt good, had a good workout, I'm just get those shoes away. So I'll post on Instagram. I say, uh, wow, somebody bring us some Capri Suns. Or bring us chips. So what I like to do is I like to get the kids like snacks while their parents shop. So I let them sit down. We feed them. So I try to keep the parents in the store a little longer while the kids are being entertained by my staff. And I'll just say, bring me some Capri Sun. You can have these shoes for free. And that's literally, you know, that's what I do. So we probably give I'm away about 500. To, I'm still trying to get over the fact that people spend $500 for uh, gym shoes. Five hundred. So our average, like some Oreos for those yeah. shoes. I'll take some Oreos. People bring people, people bring me. Yeah. People have brought me Oreos for shoes. Yeah. People brought Oreos for. That's yeah, awesome. And you're at the Fox Hills Mall. Fox Hills Mall. So like I said, it's not even like it's not. I'm talking about the exclusive sneakers. So like the the shoes that everybody wants. That's what I'm giving away. Um, I try to keep the store interactive. So. Like we, you know, have you seen a little like key master machine, like the little vendor machines? Like they got the prizes in there, and you put the yeah, yeah. So like we got one in the store at my store in Lakewood, and I have like kids. They come in there and they put a dollar in there, and they're trying to win shoes all the time. So I have one kid. His mom brings them in there every day, literally, and he's probably spent like fifty dollars a week trying to win some shoes. Wow. He always he come up short all the time. So I just I you know caught him over like here, man. Just take these shoes. You, you keep trying. We're going to go ahead and reward you. You so. seem like a good guy. Where are you from? I, I was born in Nigeria. I was raised really? out here. Yeah, born in Nigeria, raised out here. Went to uh, I went to UCLA. And okay. And then I, I, I went ahead and got my degree. Didn't use my degree for anything. So I just started, you know, like my wife, she's good at it. She knows how to do the whole, like, go to work, clock in, clock out. What, what, part, of what part of Nigeria? I was born in Lagos, but I'm Igbo. So I'm from Omaha. And Lagos. Because yeah. my friend who did our theme music, which we're playing next, David, our friend who did our theme music is from yeah, Lagos. Yeah, 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 you put me on him. I started listening to him as soon as we talked the other day. I did you hear him? Is he bad? Yeah, is the boy yeah, bad? Yeah, the boy bad. Yeah. He cold. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to come like and visit you. your store, man. I'm, I'm going to bring some Girl Scouts. Come, come into the store. You don't got to bring me nothing. I'm going to take care of you. Come into the store. I guess. Well, I might show up today, brother. Come, come I may, I may, are you going to work today? Or are you going I, to be I open. I, I open every day, so I get the kids ready for school, and then I go straight to the mall. I, I go to work, and then I leave. What time? What time are you going to be there today? Come, I might come to the day. I open at eleven. Yeah. I'll be there at eleven. Pick them up. Man, I got y'all. I got y'all. David, I'm uh, David joking and stuff. I'm serious, David. Let's go. I got you. I'm serious. Come in. I, I, just, I just I just Google these shoes because I'm a friend of mine is going through a hard time and he used to do exactly what you do is consign mm. shoes. So right, he right, said right. he so he said, please keep these for me when I get back on my feet. I just Googled them four hundred and four dollars for those shoes. Right. And you buy them for two forty. So that's what they go for four oh four, you buy them for two forty, then you bring them to Good me. Investment. And you try to make the money off the shoe, and I my job is to resell walk, the shoe. Do they walk for you? I mean, why does somebody pay that much? You know, and they it's just, funny. You just put it on and they just go forward. I, I bought a pair of shoes. Uh, I bought a pair of shoes on Saturday from a customer. So there were some Jordans. They laced themselves. So he <laughs> sold it to me for six fifty. Wait. He it. <laughs> Did he say that fast? Did I hear him, David? Did he say they laced themselves? They laced, they laced they themselves. themselves. So I'm looking for a really outstanding pair of jet white gym shoes. Do you have white gym shoes? Yeah, we do. Just white on white? I have, I have everything. I, have everything well, I, just want, I can't find a perfect pair of white gym shoes that look really good with my jeans. I'm Can I get a pair of shoes? You might be a fan of I'm a nine and a half, nine and a half, ten. I, 
I carry every we carry every size, we carry every staff. I mean, I'm, like I said, we've we've been blessed. Like the the way the store took off in the past year, like a lot of businesses kind of slowed down during the pandemic. I had a joke. I mean, <laughs> we 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 doing good. So I I mean, I try to give back as much as I can. So like right now, up until my kids graduate this week, but we've been rewarding students since March. Just bringing your report cards. We got straight A's. I give you a fifty dollar gift card. You got A and B, twenty five dollars. If you're a, a health healthcare Great. workers, all healthcare workers, they get fifty dollars. Like first responders, they get fifty dollars off. Um, like we, I try to give back, you know. Like, so I don't how are you really if you giving everything away? No, see that's the thing. I, like I make, I make enough. So it's like if I make money, I'm, you know, like I, I'm, I don't, need, I don't need a lot. So it's like my kids and my wife, they don't ask for much. When they ask, I give it to them. After I give it to them, if I got something left, I might as well give it to somebody else that need it, you know? So. All right, we coming up there. David, for real, let's go for lunch, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll treat you to lunch. <laughs> I, we, I, I treat people to lunch. You know, you come to the store, I buy lunch. I'll, I, we do well, a lot. This, we, this was my joke, we have Mike. Fun. We have a lot of what fun. Size, what, what size is your shoe, Mike? My shoe? Yeah. Nine and a half, ten. Is that all you got? Thirteen and a half here, brother. Thirteen <laughs> and a half, and we coming yeah, today. That's wear, your foot size is thirteen I wear, and a half. I wear fourteen, so we we, we the same. Well, God and bless you, your wives. You can never find He said, "God bless both of your wives." <laughs> <laughs> that shoe don't have nothing to do with it, people. Don't you listen to them? Wow. I got a nine and a half, and I'm doing just fine. <laughs> Man, so all right, tell people the last thing you'd like them to know. And then uh, you will tell them the energy, but what do you want them to know? I just, I just want them to know. I'm just, I, we we pretty much we started off uh, ago. What happened? Your it left your sound died. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Did you hear? hear me? Okay, yeah. that's better. Yeah, we couldn't okay, hear you. Yeah, my, my wife, what? my wife just got off work, so she called me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she called me. Let me know she got off. But no, yeah, uh, pretty much, you know, like we're we're a consignment shoe store. It's a lot of consignment shoe stores. What sets us apart, besides being black owned, besides growing up in the community and trying to help everybody out, I just, I mean, I'm not doing it. We're not doing it for money. You know what I mean? Like we just, we having fun. I'm trying to create a legacy for my kids. You know, pass it down to them. So they come to work with me. My boy is uh eleven. My daughter's nine. So they work full time, full time hours. So we just wow. we just pretty much trying to do our best, trying to do our best to you know help our community however we can help our community. So we figure like shoes or something big like students. You know, you go to school, you deal with teasing, bullies, and things like that. So we try our best. Like last year, I sent I opened a barbershop a, a year ago, a barbershop in a beauty salon. And so a year ago, we gave away, yeah, I gave away about 100 backpacks, school supplies, shoes. So, wow. I mean, we don't have, like, I don't have the thing. Yo, sound gone again. He's moving. He got to find a hot spot. My no wife sound. is calling. My wife oh, is your calling. Wife, you better go and answer your wife. I was she wondering, um, would you, could you? Could you give away a pair of shoes to one of my audience members? Yeah, I could do that. Can we do that? Okay, then this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do right now. Uh, you have any way where you can write the number down? Just a number between a number between 100 and 300. Do you have a way you can write that down? Yeah, I let my kid pick it. Okay, where's your kid? I let my kid pick a number right now. Okay. Ngozi. Mean. Ngozi. Come here. I love that. Oh, somebody, oh, one of y'all woke up. Y'all get here. ready. Somebody about to win some shoes on here now. Somebody about to win a pair. Yeah, write it down. Come, don't, uh, say it. Come on. don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it, though. You got it right. Hey, baby. Pick. No, you're not going to be on. Just write down a write down a number between 1 and 300. Y'all can write it together. Pick between out a number one, one to three hundred. Write it shoes. down on a piece of paper. Between one to three hundred. He already putting up a number, and we ain't got. The number. Okay. <laughs> Don't put up your numbers you yet. Number? Yeah. Okay. Name go up. Go and write, once I go write it down. Go write it down. M I C H A. So, so my, my, they excited. They excited. So they went. They went ahead and they wrote down a number. 
Okay, they okay. wrote a number. Okay, hold on one second. All right, you guys can start now. Yeah. What your name is, you can start putting the numbers up. We're going to give y'all 15 seconds, and then I'm going to stop it. And whatever number is closest without passing it, whoever's closest to it without passing it, right. is going to get the pass shoot. All right, here we go. I like that. I like that. I like that. Woo, my, my head is scratching. Woo. I like ben, that. I right, bring me your number. Let me see. It. Eight, seven, six, and you can only Hurry put up, up one, one number. One number. Five, four, three, two, one, and now we're gonna hit the stop button. Bring the paper. Okay, hit the stop. So it has to be between those bring numbers, your number, baby. And now we're ready to see what the number is. Let me go to the tip of the top of number six. Bring. Ben. Where's my name? Bring the number. Bring the paper. Okay, all right. Let us get that number. Oh, it's getting good. It's getting good. Let's see. Let's see. Right here. This all right, so. And remember, Michael, nothing is better is than free stuff. Nothing's better than free. Free food tastes right, better. She wrote down 220. Two, so 221. 221. 221. 221. Okay, 221. Now, I see. All right. 221. 220. I see 201. I see 264. That's past it. 258. I see 205. 225. 225. Moses. Wait, I see 206. He said what? 225? 225. That's past it, but I see 20. I see 206. That just look at my glasses. I got 201 with uh John. We need 201, so we got 206. So we got 206 right there. Ooh. 206 is pretty good. 206 is the closest it's going to get. Going back, let me look again. That's it. 206. That's it? I think Elaine That's pretty good. Up. That was close. Yeah, Elaine just came up, y'all. Uh, Elaine, congrats, Elaine. She is the winner. She's the What's winner. What's your shoe size, the Elaine? The and, and what size she, are you wear? What size and, and is it male or female? Because I'm sure you male, can pick male or, female. male or female and the size. Throw that on up, uh, Miss Elaine. Okay, you you'll ship them to her. Will you ship them? I can pay for the shipping. No, no, I'm gonna pay for the shipping. Oh, okay. Where you at, Elaine? You won. Don't run off now. We need your size. Are we are we sticking to the rules, Tolly? What does that mean? She is one one comment past stop. No. Who is? Look look at your stop. Look at your stop. stop. It doesn't count. She's not past my stop. Yes, she is. What is she? Mean? It's right. She, she can't win if she's past the stop. It's right past it. I hate to be the bearer. Oh, Elaine, I'm so sorry. You are past the stop. I'm sorry. She didn't win. Damn, I know you hate Dave now. Oh, Which is, look, I don't like him that much either. Let us still on the job, and I'm getting hate mail. Uh, oh. oh, my God. Okay, so we now we bagged it back up. Uh, 150. 158. Wow. Somebody else. Let me see who put it up. Uh, and look at nope. Rob. It's like, let her win it. <laughs> Well, uh, 158. And wait, it's one, wait, yeah, 158. We have 201. Is John John the only 201? I believe so. John John's the only 201 between the names. That's the closest to it. Yeah, we better look one more time. Name out because you just did, we did that once. We don't yeah, want if, if, if we get jacked in the parking lot at the uh <laughs> at Fox Hill Mall. Fox Hill Mall. No, I I, that couldn't no, happen no, anyway. No. Think it'll share was first. Look up here at the top. That was the first 201 I saw. See it? Digital share. Digital share. That's digital share is the winner. 201. I am so glad it wasn't John John. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I love you, John John, but John John just spent the afternoon with us. Yeah, bro, look, look, uh, Obina, John John just spent the afternoon with us yesterday at David's house 
<laughs> standing around the pool. If he the one today, everybody and their mama would say it's a fix. Okay, so yay! Our winner is <laughs> Digital Share. Woo! Woo! All right, uh, Digital Share. Congratulations. 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 Throw up your size right now, Digital Share. Me... What is your size? What size are they wearing? Uh oh, did we lose it, Michael? <laughs> I'm here. Good. I'm here. Hey, welcome to the Dave Williams Show. <laughs> <laughs> you done got promoted. <laughs> there he is. Myself out of the picture. Okay. Yeah, you did. Grandpa, stop pushing buttons. Where's digital share? Digital share. We're gonna need that now before we get off today. Okay, so we're gonna let you go, and there we are is. going to come and see you right around noon. We're going for lunch, right, Dave? Uh, yes, sir. See me. We'll be there right around lunch, and then by then we'll have digital shares information. Uh, and man, this is fantastic what you did today, and that you're giving to people wow. everywhere. I want you yeah, to know, you hear you. We appreciate that. You know, I appreciate. I appreciate you guys just allowing me to come on and spread the word. So, thank you. I want to shout out to Lisa Blessing because she was trying to get you on this show. She's like, you ain't put him on the show yet. What's taking you so long? Put him on the okay. show. Well, I'm so glad you came. What a joy. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. I you remind me of Buddha. You remind me of Buddha. You know, you got that <laughs> smile. You got that calmness about you, man. Thank you, King. We appreciate you. Tell yeah, I hope I see you. I hope I see y'all got uh, you guys later on this afternoon. Uh, I'm serious. We'll be there between on me. We'll be there. Where? I'm going to stay. Where? I'm going to stay. Lunch is on me. Uh, Take care of you guys. Give you some shit. This is getting better and better. Shit. I mean, Congrats shoot. To, uh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Congrats to Digital Shares. I'll go ahead and uh, take care of her. I'll give her your shoes. And then. There, uh, you, there you go. Uh, or if, she, if she's local, she could come in anytime she wants. She could choose her own shoes. That's cool. Okay. Cool. We'll work that. I, I don't even know if Digital Shares is a man or lady. I don't know what that name is. I saw, I saw <laughs> female. I saw female now. So I'm a, so I'm assuming it's a woman. Oh, it said female man. She put it yeah. up there. Okay, see, I can't see nothing. Yeah, okay, so. man. We'll see you shortly, man. Give your hug a big give your wife a hug. Is she gonna be at the store? Yeah, I'm trying to wake her up. She she's a RN, so she do uh she works seven to seven. Oh no, nah, man. We salute yeah. her, man. She's out there dealing with the real stuff that's going yeah. on. Yeah. So blessings to you. I gotta she know this. She the MVP. Sign? She the MVP. What, what is your sign? My sign? Uh, yes, I'm, 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 my my birthday was a week ago, I think. Uh, my my birthday is May twenty second, so I'm a Gemini. Uh, oh, and, and I learned I learned that was the first. That's the first day like Gemini start. I, I don't know which uh what zodiac day. sign is the month before, but it ends like the day before my birthday. So, like my wife sometimes like I'm like a combo or I don't know. I, don't, I feel like All right, you're, you're and, or something. We gonna I, see I think, twelve and one. We need you leave us leave us with a. Woo woo woo. Woo woo woo. <laughs> there you go, Abina Aquara. And I'll see you guys like, later. Hidden yeah. soul, y'all. Yeah, Where's your second floor? Where's your second floor? Our locations now, we're in the Lakewood Mall and we're in the Fox Hills Mall. And then to find us on social media, you just at Hidden Soul. So at H I D D E N S O L E. I don't know. Move the S -O -L -E. camera. Yeah. Don't be writing S O U L. Yeah, just hit and soul, just like that. Hit and soul. Shoe soul, hidden soul. Thank you, yeah. King. Appreciate I'll you. See y'all later. And I, and I thank you. I really appreciate this. You guys have God a great one. You. We appreciate it. Thank you. Man, that dude was fantastic. That was a great wow. interview. That was a great wow. interview. Fun interview. We had a chance to give shoes to somebody. That was, man, that worked out all kind of ways. Man, you, you, you know how good it feels to, good, to give away stuff? I mean, I wish I could do it. I give a lot of stuff away. Anytime I, I can, I. Give it away, and man, what a blessing! What a great guy! How about giving us the uh, theme song? Can you throw that up? And right after the theme song, we're gonna rock out with um, oh, but then we made it okay. Hey, it's Michael Kaya morning show, y'all. 
just case you didn't know where you are. You didn't know you there is joy in the morning. There is joy in the morning. There is healing in the morning. There is healing in the morning. So much love in the morning. <laughs> so much love. There so much love. In the morning. Woo, woo, woo. There is joy in the morning. Let's move right after. We talk for an hour yet. in the morning. Healing in the morning. So much love in the morning. So much joy. So much joy. There is music in the morning. Everybody woo, checking woo. in here. Everybody so checking in here with you, Mike. Hey, they checking in. Call your clan checking in here. All right. They here too. I see Capricorn. I'm Capricorn. Jeff, they Capricorn. Dave, tell us about that t shirt. Um, that's my, that is my, uh, my record label. Uh, I've been with Delicious Vinyl for over. I would say 20 years. Um, I actually know Tone Lo. He used to live around the corner from me. And uh, the owners, uh, Mike and Rick Ross, and their parents used to be at the, uh, the Ross uh, Dress for Less Empire. And they turned their little money into a record label, and the rest is history. I love it. It's a great looking shirt. He has some great t-shirts, though. I can't keep shirts, man. I can't. I have to hide my shirts from my family because they'll go and rummage through my drawers and, and steal stuff. Hey, let's. We gonna jump now to crypto. Let's go to crypto. We gotta go to crypto. What time is it? It is eight ten. What is it? It's eight ten. Okay, we gotta go to crypto. Uh, my friends are here to talk to us about crypto, the crypto coin. I hope they are here because I'm bringing them on right now. If they're not here, we're moving on because we have a woman today named Patrice Hawthorne. Do y'all remember Peaches and Herb? She was Peaches. With Peaches and Herb, she can sing. And she's going to take us out with some song, y'all. So let's, let's real quick first, let's see if our crypto people made it. Oh, all I see is a blank space. I don't see nobody. How much we does that cost? <laughs> uh, <laughs> they just trying to make sure we get out of here on time so we're going to bring them back another day that's Bendele and Madupwe we're going to bring them back because I want to try to bring them on once a week because this crypto come on David for a second this crypto this cryptocurrency really is something you yeah. know it's, it's a real thing and so I'm hearing about different forms of it all the time and now my favorite show that I've been binge watching it's called Startup, yeah. and Startup is about these people who putting together a coin that's similar to crypto money, and it, it's really fascinating and interesting. And when uh, Bandele and Madupe came on last time, soon they got off, I put $100 on crypto coin. I, I don't know where it is. I, I, I went on my phone and put it in. I don't know where it is. I don't know if it came back, if I lost money, if I made a 1000 I don't have. I don't even know how to go back and find it. It just... <laughs> It's just gone. I just shot that into the universe. You know, so when they come on another day, because they're not here when we call them, we got to keep it moving. Let's move on to this wonderful diva of song, a vocalist. Uh, she was number four of the Peaches, of the Peaches of Herbs. You know there was 416 Peaches. Uh, <laughs> it's, really probably, it's, probably really about, it's really probably about 11 or something. But she was number four. And number four is a good number. I like that number. And she's wonderful. Get your hands together for Miss Patrice Hawthorne. Hey. 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 How are you? I am supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. You better say it. Come on with your bad self. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Thank you for your patience. I love your voice. It's sultry. Do you do commercials at all? Like voiceover? I do. I do a lot of voiceovers and yes. all kinds of stuff I've done for years. Yeah. So, so how long have you been saying it? Um, forever. Like, nice. since I, yeah, since I was probably three. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Just been all it. over the place doing a lot of performances. Um, as you said, Peach is number four for 12 years from 1990 to 2002. Okay. Uh, I did a lot of shows with him all across the globe and had a lot of fun doing that. Um, I'm a band leader of Patrice in the show, so I've done weddings and festivals. Um, I have songs that I've written. They are being played on indie radio stations all across the globe, in the UK, Canada, and all across the United States and stuff like that. So, and even in Egypt, I, I was just told my song was being played there and I forget the other place, but um, yeah, just having a 
beautiful time doing acting as well. Wow. David's auntie. I just want to ask you, do you know her? David's auntie sing background for everybody on the planet. What, what's her name? Uh, Clydeine Jackson. Do you know Clydeine? No. Uh, we're bringing we bring her on this week to sing. But I was okay. just thinking about it because she does a lot of background. You've been in this so long. I was thinking y'all might have bumped into each other. Okay. So you <laughs> also are doing some acting? Yes, I actually am going to be in a movie. It's about a story of someone's life and they're trying to get it on Lifetime, you know. So I'm just looking to do more acting, as a matter of fact. This is just so much fun. I've been doing music forever. I've done some acting here and there, but looking forward to getting into more projects. Mm, definitely. Is the sun. You have so, you? Yeah, your face is the sun. You have so oh, much light and so much this morning. That's really great because it lightens all of us, it energizes us, gets our day going. So that's really excellent. You said you're doing two of your original songs today? Yeah, I can do uh, okay. both of them. Yeah. Okay, okay. Then we went, are you ready or do you want to tell us something else first? So, say that again? You want to tell us something else or you just want to go do the songs? No, I'll say I'm ready. I am ready. If you are ready, ladies and gentlemen, we give you Patrice Hawthorne. We got love, we got freedom, we've got hope, and we're gonna sing it. We've got love, we've got freedom, we've got hope, and we're gonna sing it. Everybody, clap your hands, get on the floor and dance, dance, dance. Feel the rhythm in your soul. You can do it till you're 100 years old. Now, Michael, you're supposed to sing with me. Why did you disappear? We've got love. Come on. We've got freedom. We've got, We've got love. love. And we're going to sing it. We've got, We've got love. love. And We've we got, got freedom. freedom. We've, We've got, got love. love. And, and we're going to sing it. I forgot, you know. I forgot about the fact that it's a delay. So you're like, we got love, we got love, we got freedom, we got freedom. Uh, That's they, what I hear. Uh, but but they're coming out the same thing. Well, not on this end. I hear not you. Going, That's, oh, oh, so I guess there's a problem on here. Yeah, over here. Not on your end. It's staggered on your end, but coming to the audience, yeah. they hear us singing at the same time. Come on. That's okay. We got we love. love. We, we got, got rhythm. rhythm. We got, we got a song. And, and we're gonna sing it. it. Okay, now you do it again, and you gotta get the hand movements. Okay, we okay, got we love. Got, we got love. We've got freedom. We got freedom. We've got hope. We got hope. And we're gonna sing it. And we're gonna sing it. Okay, here we go. Okay, we got, we got love. love. We got freedom. We've got we got hope, and, and we're gonna sing, sing it. it. <laughs> We've got love. We got love. Freedom. We got freedom. We got hope. We got hope. We're gonna sing. <laughs> We're gonna sing. I also yes. like doing the second part to it, you know. Yes, exactly. And then there's a lot more. Move to the left. Move to the right. Throw your hands in the air. Throw your, you know what? Exactly. Make sure you go to YouTube because the video is on YouTube. And if your listeners can subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be awesome. Because we do okay. stuff like throw your hands in the air. With all that love you just got from John John from the group Troop. Oh, thank you. The musicians hear you. They can hear you can sing. Your voice is great. Thank you. So I'll do, Dolly, I'll do Dolly forever. Um, if Am this, I if this you? is actually, you, no, you don't have to participate in this one. I'm not saying okay. I love, right? Um, Darling Forever is a remake of a 1960s tune by the Marvelettes. Yes. So, okay. And this is being played all across the, you know, globe on indie stations and stuff like that. Forever, forever, you can break my heart forever. If you want to, I will play the part of a fool just to be with you forever. Darling, forever, ever, 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 no matter what you say. I'll always love you 
in a special way, darling, forever, forever. You can torment me, take my love, my heart, my soul, my body. I will always be, darling, you were going to hold that note forever. I was going to hold it longer, but I figured you'd come on. And, and that was the short version. All right. You know. That's a beautiful point. Beautiful, Thank beautiful. You. Thank you so much. Tell people again where to find you, Miss Patrice. You can find me all over social media. Patrice Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm kind of blocking the name there. Mm -hmm. Patrice Hawthorne. Um, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Woo, woo, woo. Thank you. We love you. And thank you for being here. You have all the bells and whistles. <laughs> thank you. God bless you real good. Can you leave us with a soulful woo, woo, woo? Woo, woo, woo. Okay. You <laughs> on the Let, let's woo, woo together. But Come if on. you do it like we do it, though. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, people are trying to do the song. Can you woo woo woo? This ain't that. This is our own woo 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 woo. Oh, that was good. I don't know. Woo woo woo. Hey, hey. Rhythm in that. woo woo woo. Come on. Hey. Woo woo woo. Hey, woo woo woo. Ow ow. I woo woo woo. Shout hey. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Patrice. Oh. You are magnificent. God bless you real good. Thank you for having me. This is incredible. You're amazing. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you. It's Michael Kaya Morning Show. Okay, Bandel, we're going to bring you on and tell you that we're out of time. But you're here. <laughs> Bandel, we're out of time, so we're going to have to bring you back on another day. I uh -huh. can't hear you. Oh, I can hear you. I can hear you. Wait, let me get my orange because I knew y'all was going to be wearing orange today. Whoa. Okay, okay. Y'all would love this. And, it, and this light is on it. Hi, mama. Can you turn that light down for me a little? That light is so bright, it's making it look yellow. But this ain't yellow. It's orange. Oh, wow, Brother Mike. It's beautiful. Oh, man. I was like, I knew it's going to have my hat ready and everything. But I wear a whole orange outfit. Let me bring you back because we're out of time. Um, yeah. How I about... Was on, I was on, but you couldn't see me, so I had to change Saints phone. So... I'm excited. Got a lot of information to share with everybody. I was. Yeah, I want. I want to invite you to come on at like weekly. Yeah, to come on because it's a lot to know, and I don't think we're gonna get it all in those seven minute segment. So if like if you break it down, like break it down like over a three week thing. So week one we're gonna learn this. Week two we learn that. Week th three we learn that. Can we do that for the people? Absolutely. Tell me what day of this week you want to come back. I'm, I'm open for Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Wednesday it is, brother. I just Wednesday. come from the conference, and I got a lot of great information for the community. So Wednesday, yeah. Well, see, this is perfect because all of our viewers are watching now. They know to come back yes. if they want to find out about the club. Like, look, I put my money in when y'all came last. I put $100 in. Wrote right on my phone, put $100 in. I don't know where the hell it went. I don't know how to find it. I don't know how to get it back. I, I don't know if it made anything. What I went. What, huh? what I went to my bank, to my little chase. Oh, we'll, we'll discuss it. I'll get you on, on the right track. We want to keep it simple for the community. 
so that we all can, you know, really benefit from this new change of wealth. So Wednesday it is. I'm looking forward to it. Got a lot I of appreciate that, y'all. Show sure looks beautiful. Let me step off screen for a moment so they can see you full. <laughs> Always I love. Miss you. I love y'all so much. Kelly sends her love too. So she says sending her love, and then today we'll get back on the phone and you figure out what slots you're gonna be on Wednesday, uh, and then you're gonna start really early to make sure that you're there. So when we get to that slot, boom, you're in there. We, I yeah. appreciate y'all so much. Please hug each other for me. I love y'all. Can you leave us with a dual woo woo woo? One, woo. two, three. Woo, woo, woo. All right. See y'all later. Bandele and Medupe, they're going to come back and talk about cryptocurrency on Wednesday right here on this show. We almost made it. It's 830. What is it? 825. We still made the 830, but we so, are. So, so can uh, on the crypto, is, can other gang members get involved? Is there like a, a blood? Only Crips. Only Crips can get in on crypto. You you can't get on crypto if you are blood. The blood are not. It's a it's a secret. It's just for that group. So do they wear orange or blue? Hmm. See if they wear orange, that means they used to be a blood, but now they crypto. <laughs> I love it. He love it. I see him back there laughing. <laughs> so hey man, when they came to your party, man, they lit. Your house up, the whole house just started glowing oh, with their energy. They their very energy. light wherever they go. They travel with the light. There's no question. Yes, and then they came here for my what's the name for my um the screening of my my movie this year. And they were the only guests because yeah, everything was going on with the COVID. Yeah. They were our only guests. They came. We ate food. We watched the movie together. It was so good. I love them. That's my family right there, man. It is. Yeah, it family. is. And they'll be back Wednesday, man. That's Bandele and Madupe. And they will be back here Wednesday. Make sure y'all here with us so we can all find out what's the story on this crypto. The movie on what? I don't know if they're watching the series, but the series I'm watching is called Start Up. And it's about a white boy who has a silver spoon in his mouth, but things ain't working out for him. It's um, a girl, a Spanish girl, who figured out a code. She knows how to code, so she's calling it Gen Coin, right? Okay different from it's like crypto coin but it's his own special lane and then there's a brother who's a gangster i'm talking about killer shoot up i mean murdering type gangster and the three of them end up coming together to create this coin and the first season some some asians come and and russians and rip them off for the ideal she'd have for seven years so now i'm at the point where they're redoing it and they're coming up with a different code and, they, and it's the type of money where you ain't got to have money you ain't go, got to go through the banks you don't have that interest and you go right in and get this coin and can use it to buy things and move things and so i'm so intrigued I cannot wait to hear them break it down for us. So it's going to be good. Y'all come back Wednesday and find out. Give us some traveling music so we can talk our way out. Who is that? Is that you? This is my uh, my Muppet here. <laughs> oh, I love it. Wait, I think I got his cousin. I have his cousin over here somewhere. Mama, where's that smoker we had? I'm going to do what I'm moving my mouth like the last guy did. <laughs> and we got Drilla. This one got a blunt in one hand, money in the other hand, and his head is an ashtray. We we are officially stupid. That, that's the yes. word. <laughs> well, thank y'all for coming today. It's been a spectacular show. It yes, is my guy, your morning show with my main man, Saki, DJ Dave. That new so, so we're going to go live at when we get down to the shoe store on Instagram. So uh, I'm sure you guys got to Yeah, we'll attention. go on Instagram live. And if you are in Los Angeles, come and meet us. We're going to be at the store at noon today. The store is called Hidden Soul, S-O-L-E. At Mall. Come down and meet us in person. Take photos. Hang out. We can't promise you no free shoes. We, we beg for all the shoes we get today. We got three pair out of them. We done pretty good. I think we done good. Uh, so we're going to get you. Uh, he's going to mail the shoes to the person that won. They're not giving you free mail. That's so digital it. share? Was it digital share? That was digital share. Digital share is a wiener. I mean, a winner. And also, uh, bet, uh, Best work. Who won the twenty five dollars? Oh, Top God. of the 
V E E C. Pretty V, Pretty Bird. I, I smoke too much weed. Don't ask me questions for. So I'm cash out, but I remember if it's you or not, Pretty Bird, Pretty V. Uh, pull that up. You want a 25? People win money on this show. They want somebody just won a $400 pair of gym shoes just because they were on this show today. You better tell your friends Wednesday is a big thing because not only are we doing crystal currency, but we do a big old package, money and everything. Oh, I love my job. I love my I love job. My job. I, love I love my job. If you don't have your name in or if you're not sure, then go to my email, comic king123 at AOL.com. Put in your name and phone number and say, I love my job. We can add you to the package. You can win that big prize Wednesday. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all. God is great. Y'all have a great day. My day is already started off wonderful. Rosa May, I love you. She made that sign that's over my shoulder to my entire morning show. And please, whatever you do, ignore this ticket. <laughs> Because this chicken ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> it's like a diamond, so it's Paris. Paris that. Paris that. We got you, mama. Go up the cash app so we can see that money right now, right now. Anybody else who have prizes that they have not received, please DM me your phone number. Don't write me and say, I didn't get it. Hit my chest. Send me your phone number so I can call you and we'll get it done. Love you, Miss Arkansas. Love you, John John. Love you, Angel. Bonnie James, Debbie. Everybody, love you, Dave. Good job. Thank you. All right, don't eat, man, because we're going to eat. Uh, I'm going to eat. Down there. Uh, he, he paying? I'm eating everything. I'm fasting until we get to the, the ball. Oh, just a little sip of uh, moon, moonshine. And Woo! That burns as it goes down, don't it? Hey, y'all, we'll see y'all tomorrow morning right here. Same time, same station. God is great. Love yourself and keep God first. See you later. Two fingers. <laughs>